Hi, my name is Michael Crawley. Um, today we're going to be looking at a DC starter generator. This is a DC starter generator. Uh, in, on the DC starter generator, you can see generally a, a plate, which is on most um, aircraft parts. On the aircraft plate, you can see uh, information pertaining to its voltage, in this case, uh, how fast it goes, its rotational speed, part number, serial number, etc. The DC generator, as I said, is a 28 volt, around a 300 amp output generator. Um, it is used to start the engine, and then after the engine spins at a certain speed, uh, it turns into the generator. It turns into a generator. So, uh, so, the main parts we have the assembly, so the, the frame, uh, we have a mechanical input here. So this is generally connected to the engine or the accessory gearbox that drives it. And then at the other end, in this case we have um, an air-cooled shroud that we're putting up uh, over the top. In, at this end we're going to pick off voltages, which I'll show you in a second. So generally this one's air-cooled. If you have a look on, at this end, it's a DC generator, so it generally has brushes. So if I open this up, you can see um, the brush assemblies here that are sitting on. I probably need a, I probably need a screwdriver, but I don't have one. If you have a look inside of here, we have basically the commutator and the brushes and, and springs that are pushing that commutator down. That voltage is picked off up to here, which is our main output voltage, which is around 28 to 30 volts. I'm just going to pull this generator aside. And we're going to look at one that's been sectioned. Uh, so this is basically exactly the same thing, but we're going to now look inside the generator. This is our frame. We're going to talk about you know, about four main parts to the generator, but the frame is basically been cut um, at, at this sort of angle, um, and you can see on the frame that we have this is where our brush assembly was. Um, and the purpose of our frame is to hold all of the components and to create a magnetic circuit. So there's, a, there's electromagnets perm and permanent magnets inside the generator. So to hold all that stuff in, in there. So the next component, frame. The next component is what we call our stator assembly, stator, or our field coils. So our field coils, um, basically in this case there's four. One, two, three, four. And inside of that we have uh, interpoles and we also have uh, bits of metal that are making the magnetism stronger. Bits of iron generally. If you have a look, the wiring is running. Um, he, uh, you have two here and 180 degrees. So and 90 degrees opposite you have two here. So we have 360 degrees in this case. Every 90 degrees we have a winding. Now these ones are creating a magnetic field. We've got current that's running through uh, the coils and that creates generally a north pole here and or a south pole here. We then have a wire that's moving through that field and the wire that moves through that field is generally called the armature. At the other end of this coil we have um, in this case some wires and this is where we're going to connect current to, to create those magnetic fields. So that's our field coil or our stator. The next component is our armature. Now our armature is sitting inside of our, of our field coil. So this is the thing, the wire that's rotating through the field to induce a voltage. Now on your car it might be called an alternator. But in this case, uh, this one's called a DC generator. At the front section, so we've got the mechanical connection that we saw earlier. We could, this is connected to our uh, generator or the mechanical force to drive it. And you can see in this section here, open wires. So those wires are running through from forward to aft through here. And, and each sec segment that you can see here represents an extra wire. If we move towards the front of the generator, this is generally called our commutator. 
and the commutator is basically where we're going to pick off the voltage that's induced inside our generator. So, how do we get the voltage from inside the generator to outside the DC generator? We use these brushes. And the brush assembly basically sits on the generator like this. And as it rotates, uh, a voltage is induced and that's connected off from our brush assembly back out to the main output windings here. All these brush assemblies are connected back up to here and that gives us the DC voltage to supply power to the aircraft. And that is a very quick and nasty of a DC generator.